So we're going to cover the API A to Z, basically go over all the methods and events uh, involved, uh, and then we'll get into um, the code samples. And then it's cool is, let me get the, uh, the agenda up here, which is the same agenda here. Um, after lunch, the food's provided by 360 Flex, which is great, because um, I know I'll be hungry at noon. But at, after lunch, uh, we're going to get into uh, Ribbit Flex components uh, for voice which uh, is a project that Wes has been working on, and he's going to review with you these great components. Essentially, if you want to work directly with the SDK, uh, you can, and I'll be covering uh, all that in the morning. But if you want to just get right to dragging and dropping Ribbit functionality into your Flex app, uh, the components will be there for you, and Wes is going to cover those. And those are built on pure MVC, so we thought it was a pretty cool extra sort of dessert to cover that framework as well. For those of you uh, deeper into that, that'll be a good opportunity. And then um, at 2.30, uh, really uh, good stuff coming. We're going to talk about the amphibian application, which essentially will create a sort of a Swift store opportunity for you, uh, sort of like the iPhone store, but for uh, Flash and Flex developers. Um, it is one way to monetize Ribbit. Um, and one of the things that we really are focusing on is making sure we're creating opportunities for developers not just giving you cool technology to play with and you know, add voice to your apps, but actually giving you a way to uh, make it worth your while and, and turn that into uh, cold, hard cash. So uh, that should be fun, too. Um, and, and we'll get into that. It's going to be great. And then after that, uh, at 3, we're going to get into some hands-on coding uh, where you guys will be free to sort of code and play with Ribbit on your own. But we'll be here, myself, Wes, Mike Myers, uh, Nara, Dan from the Ribbit team, and we should have some other folks joining us as well, will be on hand to actually come by and work with you and help you out. We encourage you to sort of, you know, find someone else if you want and, and sort of uh, work off of each other. And certainly if you've already started a Ribbit project um, or, you know, this is your first time using it, this will be a great opportunity to sort of learn more and get more hands-on with it. So that's a really cool opportunity. Um, if we have time towards the end, uh, we're going to get give you a sneak peek of the new beta 2.5, which we're still a couple months away from, but I think it'll be uh, very cool to show that we're, we are evolving the API further and there's going to be new features and stuff. And then finally, at the end of the day, um, anything that you built the afternoon or anything that you've built leading up to today, uh, we'll welcome you to come up and show it off because uh, we love to see that stuff. And then if it's, you know, if, if, if you'd like, uh, and it's worthy, we can certainly uh, get the video of it and blog it up and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely going to be a really fun day, very informative. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, the Ribbit API A to Z, I'm going to cover uh, features, milestones, some uh, examples of it uh, going, uh, documentation and code samples. So should be some cool stuff to review. Um, so what, what does Ribbit do? Uh, it allows you to make and receive calls. Uh, with voice. Uh, you can actually make and receive calls right from the Swift uh, with no other download required from your user. So all they need is Flash Player, which we know 98 point whatever percent of the world has. Um, so in your web app with Flash and Flex, you can build a Rivet app through either Flash CS3 or Flex Builder or any other version of, uh, of a compiler that you have. Uh, and you can also take that same code with Ribbit and deploy it on the desktop through Air. How many folks have already written something in Air? Pretty good, so about half. Um, we'll be covering some Air code samples as well, uh, which means that if you haven't gone into Air yet, this will be a good opportunity. And our code samples, by the way, are designed to be as very wide appeal. Um, if you're just beginning with Flex Builder or Air, you'll find them a very good way to sort of ramp up very quickly and understand what's going on. And if you're familiar with that, you can sort of delve a little bit more into what's going on with Ribbit, what methods and events we're calling and such uh, to get going. So it's pretty, it's pretty good appeal. Um, right now, uh, Voice Platform supports calling. Uh, you can receive incoming calls, um, but you can call out to US, Canada, Japan. Um, and I'll check with the guys when they come back to see if there's any additional support. Uh, for countries planned. Uh, this was actually something that we, we announced back in April so that the, may, may have additional countries. Um, and then, of course, you can make flash-to-flash -flash calls, which means if you've got a Ribbit app running on your client side and the person you're calling has it, 
uh, you can actually just call right to their application. Um, so the way that works, and I'll get more into it, is you call their phone number through your application, or if they're registered with Ribbit as a user, you can actually just put their email address, and then we remap it to, uh, to talk to them. It's very, very cool stuff. So that's just one of three things the Ribbit API does. The second is messaging, which I think is equal to, if not a little bit more involved than, than making uh, calls. And for some reason, once people get past the phone calling aspect, um, right away they get into messaging, and we get a lot of feature requests for messaging, so we've tried very hard to uh, you know, ramp up the API to meet those, meet those demands. But um, you can record, send, and receive voicemail, uh, which means you can actually record uh, we capture through the microphone your voice, stream that out to our server, and then we package that up and allow you to send that as a voicemail to someone else's phone or to their application. And then, of course, the Ribbit app allows you to access your voicemail or uh, allows your user, if they're logging into your app, to access their voicemail, pull it in, and they can actually read it as well. We have a optional uh, speech-to-text service that's tied into the API. And as I'll show you, there's actually an object. So when you get the voicemail objects coming in, you can access a transcribed text property that contains the text of the message. So it's really cool. Um, and then, of course, you can listen to the message. Um, and there's other things coming along, like SMS and such. Um, we don't have any of that prepared, but uh, that's coming as well. So the messaging stuff is very ro robust. And lastly, but not least, is contacts, uh, address book management which I think by itself would make for a pretty significant API if that's all Ribbit did. But uh, it allows you to add, modify, delete, and uh, sync your address book. So some really cool uh, functionality there. So um, I'm just going to talk about the milestones a little bit. Um, we center our deployment around conferences. Um, and so basically, our, our first release of the API actually happened at 360 Flex about a year ago, uh, August uh, 13th. How many were at Seattle, 360 Flex? Wow, okay, so a lot of new uh, faces, that's good. Um, yeah, we, we dropped our, our public uh, API uh, back in August, um, and then in, uh, I'm sorry, a pre-release was in August, and then at, at Adobe Max in October, uh, we went public beta. Um, we did a platform launch party in September, in uh, December, uh, and that's when we launched Beta 2. And then uh, at FITC earlier this year in Toronto, we launched uh, Flash Component Set, which is a, a nice pairing to Flex. Uh, we found out that a lot of our developers are, are more oriented with CS3, not so much on the ActionScript side, but more on the design side. So we actually put out a... Um, a set of voice components, and essentially to match that effort on the Flash side, uh, Wes is uh, what he's been working on is the Flex components uh, for for more of this audience. So it's pretty cool. But the Flash components is pretty significant. We actually put a box for it, even though there's nothing in the box. It just symbolizes that this is a pretty substantial uh, piece of software. It essentially installs on CS3 and allows folks to just drag and drop uh, pre-built components so they actually don't even have to code. They can fully customize and skin uh, those components. So it's a pretty sweet set. And then, this is pending, but we're hoping uh, by November that uh, the, the next version of the API will be coming out. So 